Douglas Puyol plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Alex Iwobi starts alongside James Ward-Prowse in central midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. Haaland, can they forge ahead? Oh, that's an expert piece of defending, just as it was looking threatening. Well, the Z in Gianfranco Zola's surname could often be for zest. He brings that to the proceedings. What might we see from him in this match, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Teo Hernandez. Determined defending. Awar. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Might lead to a chance. Kai Havertz. Difficult to stop him. Now, disappointing end to the move. That's very effective, good high pressing. A real attacking intent from the Vipers. Oh, good work by the keeper. Delivering it. And not cleared away properly. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. Nicely timed tackle. Teo Hernandez. Plenty of support here. An effective challenge. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Can he put it away? Still alive. And maybe scope here for Vipers to add to their advantage with a set piece. Didn't quite go to plan. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. And intercepted it. A foul, but advantage played. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Adama. Given away by the Bears. Lord Prowse. And the ball back with the Vipers now. Well, how close was that? Inches away. Teo Hernandez now who can he play it to a fine reading of the situation Gallagher and Havertz and space for Vipers out wide defensive Brazilians to shut them down Adama Zola hasn't been closed down and with that, they thwarted the opportunity. Mudrik. Zola. And he's in. Defending of the highest class to stop him. Gallagher. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Connor Gallagher. How about the cross? Holland. Trying to find the right angle of attack. Pulls it back.
Teo Hernandez. In possession, Adama. Awa. And passing it through. Looking for the right angle. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. So half time it is, the end of the first half here in Turin. And so they begin the second half here in Turin. And defensive play to be applauded. Well, acres of space for Vipers out wide. Can they forge ahead? Was an important piece of defending. Well, fine work from Vipers to win it back. Well, on the final analysis, not quite precise enough. Goal kick here. Well, in typical fashion, Erling Haaland asking plenty of questions of the defence in the first half. Difficult to contain, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a very good first 45 minutes. He scored a good goal, was a constant threat and looked dangerous whenever he was on the ball. I'm sure he'd be the keeper. Is it going to be? Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Who can he pick out? Not really the ideal clearance. Well, they can keep possession of it now. And a fine tackle. Well, he's beaten his opponent. The Vipers exploiting the space on the flank, but timely defending when it mattered. Awa. And return to Saint Maxima to put them ahead. Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. Well, we're into the final half hour. Oh, he looks threatening. It has to be. Keeper getting the touch. Well, they survived the attack. Well, the stats back up what we've seen so far. Some good attacking football, chances for both teams, and plenty to enjoy. Let's hope for more of the same. Well, he's certainly not alone. Traore. Benassa. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Successful intervention, winning the ball back. Could be a chance to break here. Gomez. Traore. Really good build-up, but no end product. The referee spotted the little nick on the way through, so a throw-in coming up. Kai Havertz. On toward Prowse. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. 20 minutes to go in this one.
Now, who can he play it to? Traore. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Delivered into the box. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Number three, Harry Maguire. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Bon Mati. Oh, it's a really well timed challenge. Adama. Chance maybe to use their counter attacking ability to good effect. It needs an accurate cross. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Traore. Holland! The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing. And now they sense victory. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. So a throw in here. They've regained possession. Going well. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Sir Maxima. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Oh, that's a really good run. But no damage done, that's the main thing. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And a goal! Fasten your seatbelts. This is not in the bag just yet. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. The fans want to see a shot. Well, spot on with that challenge. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. And teammates to play it to. This could be the equaliser. Safe pair of hands, did his job. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, they weren't totally convincing, but they showed a lot of fight. And despite having less of the ball, they had enough quality to win this game. Good performance in the end.